parameters updated. Time limit set. Be careful, Sam. And come back soon. Oh, we will. Because we have a job to do. I do like the trend of people putting the uh, the safe houses very close to all of the uh, little places. Not that I usually need to stop and rest, but like it provides a solid way of getting the uh, car back in shape. It's fairly regularity, fair fair amount of regularity. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Grabbed my whole ass finger in his mouth and was like, no, fuck you. Stop playing game, play with me. Oh, some of these are cruising down the river, huh? Alright, let's get out here. Well, first, let's make sure we're not about to walk into your, like, super deep end. Try to intercept. Now it says one or more, so we could take it. But I would like to know how many there are total. I'm not seeing anything pop on the scanner. So we might just be good on this. And I feel like with all the scanning we've just done, we should have seen it. So, we have plenty of time left. So let's swing through and grab this lost package as well. Why? Because I interrupted him. 
chewing on my pants. Like, excuse me. The side of your pants right here, could, what they could really use more than anything, is a hole. Yeah. I see how you work, you work in here. Yeah. There's no hole in my pants, therefore your job is not done. Exactly. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. And switching between ready for a nap and murdering my fingers for daring to hold controller. You know, the normal course of events. Well, we'll take some land for that, please. I'm sure there will be a time eventually where we will use it. I hope we get to meet again before too long. Yeah. Yes, Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. I'm going to assume this is still the same three things we have not picked up yet. Unrelated to anything. Not the button I was looking for. Hate to empty out the ceramics right away, but we are going to need them. Weapons restrictions lifted. We have the crystals we need already. I'm pretty sure we have the metals. I'll double check it before we actually head up there. But I feel like 
we can get this last bit of road taken care of right now. And then we can do that. It will make life a lot easier. real question is, can I remember the spot where we cross? Because I think to avoid the ghosties, we pretty much have to go this way. Otherwise, we'll be grabbed by the ghoulies. not always the worst thing in the world. Like, if you need to get a lot of crystals in a hurry, and you have the supplies to do it, it's a pretty efficient way of getting it. the crystals. Is pick the fight. And then, uh, win it. But we're not in need of a giant amount of crystals at the moment. How many crystals do we have? Hold, please. Like, we only need about 500 crystals to finish the road that I'm thinking of. And this is basically done aside from the crystals. So we might as well. We're not going to be able to immediately hop onto it. It might be worth the backtrack, though. Because the plan was to take the road up and then come back to the doctor anyway. Oh, thank you. Oh man, that bridge is gonna be uh, a little awkwardly placed once we get this finished. I do have to say, it always feels very nice to finish a segment of road. Like, it just makes getting places so much easier. The downside being, you miss a lot of the, uh, stuff that is off the roads. It's been very hard for me to get back up to the elders. 
something just because it is so far off the beaten path. Well, it's not even that far off the road. It's just so vertically far off the road. Just gonna charge up here. Like I was planning on having the, the the truck repaired at the city anyway. But you know, the charger's there, might as well. Okay. I think we did this correctly. Delivering cargo. Ah, the porter. Excellent. I kind of feel like we had you go about your business really does put a spring in my step. An actual order from here for here, but I don't think we actually did. Now that I'm really thinking about it, I think the uh, options were so enjoy your visit, Sam. the the city an old man like me can find inspiration in your and the mountaineer. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Okay. We're taking these because we're going that anyway. We're taking this because we're heading out that way. saying, hey, about them ceramics.
we're definitely going to have to go ceramics rating. Finish this road, I think. Thankfully, both of our timed things are at Mountain Knot City. So I'm just like, oh wait, I need to repair the truck, and the truck isn't going to advance time. But we can deliver the stuff first, and then repair the truck. It's almost like I had all this thought in my head. Hey, what are you doing? Ow. Just eternally offended that I'm not like constantly paying attention to it. I know, you're sitting in my lap. And you're surviving out. And I'm talking to you. Or at least I'm talking out loud most of the time. And you can think that I'm talking to you while I'm doing it. There's nothing, there's no evidence that says that I'm not. You're not petting me. At the same time. Therefore. Okay. Hey, Sam. Welcome back. Tough journey as always, I bet. Wow. You, you really took great care of it. Cool. I feel like we've been doing pretty good on the stab stability front. Thanks, Sam. You're an inspiration to all of us. Yeah. Front. Mm -hmm. Good work. New yes. order available. I agree. Please access delivery terminal for further information. The curiosity is overwhelming. This and this for now. And with that, we take a nap.
All right. Okay, so we don't have. Oh, you know, I I know the way to get there, so we don't really need to uh, go out of our way. Um, let's double check. So this needs about twelve hundred more metals and lots of ceramics. Um, so let's take a quick moment. We have three, oh, just 350 metals. So let's, let's, let's not leave without the metals. Then we can just be hunting ceramics. I said we needed 1,200, and we have about 300. It's probably more than enough. Which, you know, considering we'll eventually need to uh, do other things with it, it's fine. More importantly, yeah, frog. More importantly, frog. It all fits in the truck. Weapons restrictions lifted. We're gonna overshoot the engineer, I think. Not the engineer, the roboticist. just so we can go drop off what materials we have and get a picture on how much more we need ceramics wise. I'm sure it's not nothing. I can't imagine. I can't imagine we have enough on us to finish off all of the road, but we will be considerably closer. Yeah, yeah, we'll be pretty. We'll be making a lot of progress on it. But I imagine we'll still need a few thousand ceramics. I know that's a lot. Just think of how much easier this drive is going to be when the road is finished. I know. I also really enjoy how big this area feels. Like, not just like the mountain, but like this whole section of the map. Like, we've been on this bit for a while, and it still feels like... It hasn't over overstayed its welcome for me. It does feel like we are getting close to the, uh, the end on it. Perfect.
go about. Three K in ceramics left. Hopefully we will be able to uh, put together fairly easily. Now we just have to get up here. I just, I like having big truck. I can carry lots of stuff. It's, it's... I just, I, I enjoy the, uh... The ability to have a lot of stuff for me. Like, it makes me feel like I'm just prepared for whatever. Although, I do, like, miss, to some extent, like, the uh, flexibility of being able to just, like, uh, be not be as bound to uh, relatively drivable routes. Like every time I plan something out, it's it's you know considering can I get the truck in here? Are we murdering my hand? Is that what's going on? Nope, just my wrist. Okay, chill out. Ow. <laughs> Toto! <laughs> Crashing because Bert has just decided, fuck my wrist. I had to take my hand off the wheel. And that just, it sounds like a fun consideration. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've been so focused on, hey, you're about to get, you're about to get exiled back to your cage. You can't control yourself. Oh, you made it. Like, yeah, I do like that it's so flexible in how you play it. Um, but yeah, I have been so focused on building roads and the amount of crystals I need to build the roads. <laughs> um, that I haven't even messed with, like, the, the little floating platforms, because I know they use the crystals for fuel, right? Um... So it, it's made me reluctant to play around with them because I'm like, I need these for roads. Man like you needs all the help he can get. Here's a little something from me. We got a gold star. Oh, that is cool. You're the best, Sam. I owe you. Come back anytime. Like, I feel like I have Please access delivery terminal for further information. A video about this game brewing in the back of my mind. I don't have it like it's still just like a vague idea so far. 
Um, but I do think I want to do some extra recording of it, and maybe I'll play around with, with other ways of traversal doing that. Okay. I feel like I have stuff for the side of town. You can carry more stuff with in your in, with the train that and you know what? Train's good, car bad. So <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I'm heading this way. So let's take these. It's such a pain in the butt to get to the weather station from the road. But on the other hand, the weather station gives us uh, lightweight metals, I think, which is hard to say no to. Okay, you definitely don't have enough ceramics for me to finish this, <laughs> but we will take what you have with gratitude. I'm pretty sure I have at least one delivery for Lake Knot on me. Two things for the weather station. One thing for the junk dealer. We're worrying about that later. One thing for the cosplayer. And like not. Okay. Like, there's definitely considerations, I think, for, for everything in this. Like, I have not had to worry about boot durability pretty much at all. I've had to change boots, like, a couple of times. But I'm, like, constantly worrying about, like, how, like, because there's no indication other than, like, the little warnings you get and like just the general sparkiness of the truck for how long you have until it breaks. So that has been like more my my constant anxiety on that front. Um, like trying not to overdo it with how reckless I am with the truck because there's not like a firm meter that I can look at and know how much durability I have left on it. Yeah, battery life. Yeah, batteries. At least that's a constant thing. But that's one of the things I like about building the roads, is I can uh, not have to worry about the batteries as much. Okay. But I do feel like I'm probably missing a lot of the uh, like little side stuff more because I have tied myself to the road network so much. Oh, 
Okay. We're getting close on that. I do love how the inside of the truck seems to be filling up with snow as well. It's just a very amusing visual thing. supports multiple different play styles. I'm, I'm a big fan. So it just means there's a little bit more versatility to, like, if you want to go back and replay it. Like, this is a huge game, but I feel like I could get some enjoyment out of going through it again. Just because it would allow me to try different things that I didn't even think of. Stop one. No. Stop one. Get stuck on rock. More literally than I anticipated. God damn it. Oh boy. That that's a rough rough turn there. Okay. Sometimes the truck feels like I have no trouble navigating on hills, and sometimes it feels like, oh, we're, we're the physics? What are physics? We're just going to slide down this hill at full speed, even though it's not the direction you were going. Exactly. Like, that's one of the reasons I like taking the truck, is because it makes it fairly easy to avoid damaging things. And, like... Like, the main worries are what happens if I run into BTs. Because then I have a whole truck full of stuff <laughs> that I can't just, like, slap onto my back. But, like, just barreling through is usually a one-way ticket to getting yanked out of the driver's seat and having to uh, deal with a very large friend who is not happy to see me. Which is, I think, one of the main reasons I stick to the uh, road so much is because I have yet to and don't deal with BTs on the road. I mean, there's not even one single scratch. That's incredible. Like, even when I'm getting the full, like, DEFCON level warning. Here, I got you something. Consider it an expression of my gratitude. Double medals. Well, good luck to you, and take care of yourself. Good work. New order available. Please ask. going this way anyway. And if I've learned anything, it's don't take the building supplies you want to use.
with you. When you're heading in the opposite direction of where you're going. So then you just fill up your truck. <laughs> 